Hey YouTubers, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode of uh, Coral Fridays, every Friday I get a new coral and I show you guys and I discuss about it. All I got today is the Acropora Formosa Coral. It's a staghorn coral. It's uh, green and this specimen I got is actually pretty big. So it's right here behind me right now. I just got it acclimating. I've been adding a little bit of my water each time and letting the temperatures get the same so we don't shock it. Um, so I'm going to show you guys where I'm going to place it. I'm going to show you the specimen up and close. And uh, it's actually it's a fast growing coral. I end up getting the green one. It's got little green tips to it. So we'll see by turning down, putting on the blues, and uh, see what kind of colors radiate off of it. We'll check it out. So the first thing I got to do is I want to go take it down to the lab, and I want to coral dip it. Make sure we don't have any pests on it getting into our tank. You know they can definitely do a number on you, on it. You don't want flatworms or little starfish like in my other videos. I had to get the Harlem shrimp to take care of him. He's actually doing really well. It's about three weeks in right now. He's still eating away. I still see little starfish, but that's good. It keeps him alive, it keeps him happy. So right now, I'm just gonna take this down to the lab, uh, give him a little bit of revive uh, coral dip solution, and then we'll bring him up, and then we'll put him in, in the display tank and show you where I placed him and, uh, and the reasons why, guys. All right, so let's show do that. In the bag right now, before I go down to the lab to show you. So this is it here. You see, it's a pretty big specimen. It's got a lot of new growth on it. It's really reaching pretty high, like into a Y. So that's pretty sweet. I'm probably going to end up putting him a little bit lower because uh, he's going to need some room to grow. I like these staghorn corals because they, they seem to grow pretty fast and I like how they like they grow out, they web out, they take up a lot of room so it looks pretty sweet and all the little fish they like to hide in that coral. So that's the specimen I'm going to go take and revive and uh, put in the tank. So just give me a couple minutes guys and I'll be back. So I made it back from the lab, I just did a revive dip on the coral, I just put it back in the bag, it's just sitting here now. So the application I think I'm going to use for this one is I'm going to end up using the, the Aquascape putty that you take the two colors, you take the green and the red in the packages and then you just you mix them together. I, I really like this stuff because it hardens up nice underwater and you can really keep your, uh, your specimen where you want it. So th on this one here I'm going to try something really tricky. Uh, if you guys remember I did my Monopora, my Monopora fragging, I'm going to take that, actually take that rock out and what I want to do is I want to put that, the, the SPS, I want to hang it on the edge hanging off the cliff. So I think it would look pretty cool if that was branching right out into the middle of the into the middle of the tank. It could start to grow that way. So uh, give me a couple seconds here. I'm gonna try to do this. I've never tried it before and hopefully it'll stay and it's not gonna fall. But I think it'd be a pretty good uh, pretty good piece. So you just give me a minute, I'm gonna mount this up guys. So I'm, I'm just using the putty today and I'm gonna use a little bit of glue to hold it into place. So just give me a second. I got the stag horn all mounted up now. I end up mounted just like where I said, we're uh, off, off the cliff. It was a little bit of a little bit of gluing too. I, what I ended up doing was using the putty, the Oxgate putty, and uh, the Ecotec glue as well. I had to do a combination of putting molding it into the rock work and then gluing it in and around it. Um, I had to take off a little bit of the monopora, so I got some more frags. I'll frag them up. That's the only thing where I put, end up putting this for the monopora is I'm gonna have to keep fragging it so it stays away from the the SPS. So I'm gonna take you guys up and close and personal here of the specimen we got here, uh, the staghorn. So check it out. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's gonna roll right out into the tank. So we'll have to watch its progress. Okay, so so there, there's the specimen, there's the staghorn right there. So I end up it's coming right off the edge of the cliff by the monopora. So the only thing is I'm gonna have to keep fragging that monopora, but that's fine. Lots more frags. But it's a pretty this one's a pretty cool, uh, nice green color. It's got a lot of growth on it. It's a pretty sweet deal. Um, yeah, so I, I love the way these ones grow. They grow out and they spread out. I like that. They're not a, they're a you know a faster growing coral, they're not a slow growing coral. You know what I mean? So it makes it nice and really fills up your tank a lot. So let's see, we're gonna put under some blue lights here and see what happens. Let's uh, check it out under the blue lights. So I just got my got my other iPhone here. So let's uh, punch it down to the blues and see what we get. So just bear with me here. We'll turn off the reds. Greens. Cool whites. So down to the blues. So let's just drop some of the other blue down. There we go. So it's a little bit harder to tell under these lights because the should use a filter sometime. But you can see there's like a little bit of red in there and blues, a little bit of greens, and then on the tips they're like a little bit of neon green. So that's a pretty sweet coral. I'm pretty happy I got that one, guys. So that's the the SPS I got this week. I hope you guys really like it. So let's turn the lights back up. There were their blues, cool whites, our greens, and our reds. 
Alright guys, so that was the Acapara Formosa right there, the Staghorn Coral. So I hope you guys like that coral, it was a pretty nice species. I really hope I have it for many years that, so I can frag it and give it to my buddies or so on or other hobbyists. Um, so just tune in every Friday, every Friday is Coral Friday with Farm Boy Reef. I hope you guys like this episode. If you please leave your comments and please subscribe and uh, hit the like button. I'm on Facebook, Google Plus, I enjoy talking with all you guys, A Pines 8411 and Sean's Reef and Erica and Willie D. Oh, they're all great guys. And uh, Richard down in uh, Florida as well. Check out his YouTube site. He's a pretty sweet guy. Um, so there you go. That's Coral Friday. Is another wrap. Please tune in next Friday and we'll have another coral for you. You guys, If you guys want to see a certain uh, coral or specimen, hit me up and I'll do my best to find it. So have a good one, guys, and uh, we'll move on to the next coral. Bye.